algebra and why it is called as boolean algebra because it is invented by george boole in 1854 in 1854 george boole discovered this concept of algebraic system and that's why algebraic system is also called as boolean algebra so boolean algebra mainly contains the concept of lattice okay that is the main concept which specifically comes under the section of boolean algebra so the lattice is partial ordered set that is denoted by l and symbol in which every pair of elements a b that belongs to this particular lattice has greatest lower bound and least upper bound now this greatest lower bound and least upper bound concepts we have seen when we have seen the partial ordered set and partial ordered relation that greatest lower bound means in the particular representation whenever the elements are connected at the lowest level then that is called as greatest lower bound of that particular diagram or of that particular partial ordered set and least upper bound means where the elements are connected at the uh, upper level then it is called as least upper bound i think everyone will be remembering this particular thing greatest lower bound is always denoted by glb and least upper bound is always denoted by lub so glb that is greatest lower bound is denoted by a into b as this a and b belongs to which lattice lub that is least upper bound is denoted by a and the symbol b that is asymmetric difference symbol is that b then these symbols are added in the lattice that is boolean algebra and this is not this we cannot say conjunction and disjunction remember conjunction and disjunction symbols are same definitely you will say ma'am you only told us that this is conjunction this is disjunction but this is conjunction and disjunction when you are talking about proposition and when we are talking about algebraic system and boolean algebra this is join and meet keep in mind okay so the symbols are used to denote join and meet of the particular elements so this is nothing but the lattice which is the important part of boolean algebra now the next concept related to boolean algebra is principle of duality now as its name implies duality means whatever lattices we are having we should have duals of that particular lattice then it is called as principle of duality so for any partial ordered relation on set s now this is denoted by this when we are talking partial ordered relation in terms of lattice otherwise partial ordered relation was what when we are having the relation which satisfies the properties of reflexive anti symmetric and transitive remember that was partial ordered relation but now we are talking partial ordered relation in terms of boolean algebra so it is denoted by the symbol on set s that is s and less than or equal to can have the dual s and greater than or equal to so principle of duality states that these operators that is multiplication symmetric difference less than equal to greater than equal to remains true if multiplication is removed is replaced by symmetric difference same way if it is replaced by multiplication the lattice is symbol that is less than or equal to replaced by greater than or equal to and if greater than or equal to is replaced by less than or equal to if we are replacing the symbols still the principle of duality states that it remains true that's why it is called as principle of duality so this is all about the boolean algebra the concept of lattice and principle of duality in our next section we will see the properties of lattice now the properties of lattice are already same that we have covered when we have seen group when we have
have seen propositions that is commutative, associative, independent and etc. But in terms of data, how they are represented that we will cover in our next session.